Hello, I'm Dr. Brandt Gibson. One of the things that I use to evaluate uh, peripheral neuropathy, one of the labs that I take is I test homocysteine levels, and I explain to people that it's an indicator of how well the body's using vitamin B12. Now, there's an interesting study that came out in the European Journal of Neurology, published online February 22nd, 2021, and what it showed after doing a meta-analysis and systemic review of many articles through 2018, is that a large number of individuals, 1,047 patients with peripheral neuropathy, compared to 4,763 in the control group that didn't have peripheral neuropathy, were found to have a elevated homocysteine level. The interesting thing was you run these some of these studies, they also found that you had an depleted or lower vitamin B12 level. And in their studies, as they kept continued to evaluate this and as they continued to look at it, they found that supplementing with vitamin B12 when you had a low homocysteine level or a low vitamin B12 level or even a methylmalonic acid concentration level that was too high was elevated, then you could actually get improvement with adding a supplementation of vitamin B12 and a supplementation of vitamin B1. The interesting thing about this finding is that B1 may possibly also indicate or might also help with the improvement of the homocysteine levels. So typically individuals that have a high homocysteine level, what I will do is I'll treat them with either vitamin B12 and folic acid. But now based on some of these findings, some of these studies, there is a a good indication that adding vitamin B1 as one of the things we can use to treat peripheral neuropathy with a high homocysteine level is a good thing. So what that tells us, homocysteine is now an indicator for peripheral neuropathy and the need for vitamin B12 treatment, possibly folic acid treatment, and vitamin B1 treatment. This is valuable. This is important because, as you know, vitamin B12 is a pretty significant cause of peripheral neuropathy. Um, deficient vitamin B1 is a leader of uh, peripheral neuropathy problems, but we're also finding that vitamin B1 is neuroprotective, and it may be because it lowers that homocysteine level. This is Dr. Grant Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget Day 299, homocysteine as an indicator in peripheral neuropathy. This is Dr. Grant Gibson. Have a great rest of your night.